Hello, so today I am currently five weeks and three days pregnant. We've known now for, what is it, two and a half weeks, which is just crazy. Um, but I wanted to pop on here while I had the chance to do my week four updates. I'm going to do an, an update every week through each trimester, to be honest, but starting off with trimester number one. So for week four, my symptoms, let's get my little notes out. Um, so I know at this stage for a lot of women, you might not have many or any symptoms at all. Now, I don't know if I'm unlucky or what, but I feel like I'm already getting them quite badly to be honest but I know everyone's different so for my week four so obviously this is sort of going back to last week um the first thing I've got down is just feeling very tired so definitely feeling those energy levels dropping very quickly um I'm not one for sort of napping normally during the day but I have well I did have quite a few naps and that is continuing but obviously I'll update this next week um so quite a few sort of naps just falling asleep um, in the afternoon and just feeling tired all the time um, as I say lacking a lot of energy so teaching my classes is becoming quite a struggle I am um, sort of struggling for breath is one thing so I know I'd sort of heard about this sort of in early pregnancy struggling for breath just doing the simplest things um, so I was starting to see that quite a lot teaching classes so having to stop and coach more than I normally would and again just the energy is not there my body just does not want to work. Um, I say as well a bit of a lack of motivation so I think that's down to a lot of the tiredness so I just don't want to do anything I can't be bothered I just want to sit and do absolutely nothing so I haven't had much motivation to do much at all. Pop part of the reason for why this video is so late is because yeah I'm just thinking oh I just can't be bothered even though it's not really much effort at all but there we go um the other thing I've had sort of light cramping pretty much every day since I found out I was pregnant um now most of the time it's been very mild so like mild period pain but most days I have I've felt that um and then there were sort of two nights last week where I woke up in the middle of the night with quite, I don't want to say severe cramps, but it was enough to wake me up and I'd sort of lie there uncomfortable for a good sort of five, ten minutes and it was not pleasant at all. Um, to be honest, I was quite worried, you know, I was expecting to go to the toilet and see blood or something. Um, so that wasn't great, wasn't comfortable, but it did tend to pass, as I say, within sort of five, ten minutes. Um, and that happened, yeah, as I say, a couple of times in the night last week. Um, apart from that, for week four, I don't think there's too much else. Um, feeling pretty normal otherwise. Um, just trying to think. But that's all I've got in my notes, so there can't have been anything else really significant. Not really had any cravings or anything like that yet. No, there's no sort of sickness last week um yeah so the main things tiredness lack of energy lack of motivation and mild cramping so for week four um that is probably everything i've got to update i'm sure it'll get more interesting as we go along but i will see you again at the end of this week and i'll do my week five update then hello excuse my appearance once again um i've been in work today from six till two i'm not sleeping probably at the minute i'm absolutely shattered and i've just been having a little nap on the sofa downstairs so if i don't look my best you know why um but yeah i wanted to just jump on here because i'm sort of a few days late again do my weekly update for week five um so yeah today i'm six weeks and four days i think so yeah nearly into week seven already um it is actually going quite quickly i think um the weeks do go by quite slowly when you're sort of waiting for the the next week to come but yeah time isn't going too slowly to be honest so yeah um wanted to do my week five update before it gets too late um but i've got some notes anyway um so thinking back to last week um so i've got starting to struggle for breath doing simple things like getting dressed so 
Um, I'm not sure if I'd mentioned in my week four update about starting to sort of struggle with catching my breath and just energy levels and stuff. Um, but you can probably tell now while I'm talking that I'm sort of catching my breath um, every now and again as well. So yeah, definitely starting to, to struggle with that, which again is making work quite difficult. So trying to teach classes and stuff while jumping around and whatever else and trying to breathe and talk at the same time is getting quite tough. So that's the first thing that I've noted down for week five. Um, and also getting tired very easily and napping in the afternoon. So yeah, I'm exhausted constantly. Energy levels, last week especially. I think as soon as I hit that week five, it was literally like on the day, I just noticed it changed straight away. So I don't know if that was like slightly in my head, <laughs> um, but no, it was definitely felt like as soon as I got to the fifth week, um, yeah, my energy levels just like weren't poof, even further down than they already were. Um, so yeah, I've had to, well, to be honest, like a few classes in work I've not been able to do because I've just not had the energy. I think it was on Friday last week I woke up and I just wanted to cry <laughs> because I had no energy whatsoever. And um, I think I've got, I'm just trying to think, so obviously I'm into week six now, um, but sleeping's not been too great either so for the past couple of weeks struggling to sleep waking up through the night quite a lot um part of the reason for that is the thing i'll get onto next which is painful cramps on and off so it started off with like what just felt like period cramps but like bad period cramps and i remember i think the first night i woke up with these this was in week five and I just thought, yeah, some something's not right here. Like this, this is way too painful. This is too much. And to be honest, for like a couple of days, I was expecting every time I went to the toilet to to see blood or something. Um, yeah, it was quite worrying, a little bit traumatic to be honest. Um, so yeah, I was getting a lot of cramping. It started off like the period type cramps, and then it was milder in terms of that kind of pain, and then just yeah just a pain in my stomach which i think some of it tmi um was probably trapped wind yay lovely love being pregnant <laughs> so not something i've ever really suffered with before and i was like whoa this is so painful and then did a little google as you do and i think it was probably due to that so i had a couple of days of constipation excellent and then trapped wind i assume which oh my god so painful so i'd literally just have to i'd walk around just to like get myself moving that seems easy a bit and then i'd have to lie with my legs straight so i couldn't sleep at night like I'd normally i curl up in a ball i'd have to lie and sleep with my legs straight otherwise i'd be waking up in agony and that happened for quite a few nights last week it was horrible and i just felt felt rubbish <laughs> honestly last week was not a good week um yeah in terms of the cramping it tends to last about five to ten minutes and it'd ease off and then that would happen throughout the day so not pleasant at all um that's all i've got written down in my notes um but yeah week five was not was not a particularly nice week to be honest um i'm trying to think back now in terms of dates yeah so that would have been yeah in week five like i say this is like i'm i'm going back sort of a week and a half um new year's eve it would have been and that was the only one day i've really felt really sick um yeah felt nauseous and just horrible all day um but that seems to have seems to have passed so it was only really that one day and then it's sort of on and off um but yeah for week five i think that's probably everything I'm rambling now, I'm out of breath um, and I'll be back in a few days anyway to do my week six update so I don't want to get too confused with what's going on now and what happened last week. So we'll leave it there for week five. Um, I am going to start doing some little bump pictures even though I do not have a bump at all at the minute. Um, if anything just a little bit of bloat but I want to do it anyway because it'll be nice to sort of see the progression as we go through the weeks. So if I do that at some point I'll insert it in here somewhere so you can have a, have a look-see and other than that I'll be back with my week six update in a few days time. Hello, I am here with another update. Um, it has been quite a few weeks since I last updated this because, oh, to be honest, 
Uh, my mood's just not been there at all. I've been feeling pretty rough, just having no motivation whatsoever. So I'm actually 11 weeks pregnant now. I think the last time I updated this was week five. So I've got a few weeks to catch you up on, which I'm gonna do now. So I've got all my notes here and I'm gonna try and remember back as well as I can. So let's just get into it, because otherwise this video is gonna be so long. Um, you'll probably still see that I'm still getting out of breath as well. I've just come up the stairs and I am struggling to breathe. It's mad, it is crazy, this pregnancy business, honestly. Um, but if we get straight into week six, so here we have got, um, still getting pains and aches, really uncomfortable at times. Um, this is when I was, so I was struggling to sleep anyway, but for this week I was waking up every night at 2am and at 4am, every single night. Don't know why, so weird, but yeah, 2am, 4am, um, waking up and struggling to get back to sleep. No, en no energy at all, struggling to even get out of bed. Um, 6 plus 2, uh, woke up feeling starving and sick thinking I was going to throw up. So I think this is actually the only time this has really happened. And I remember thinking, ah, oh, now we understand what they talk about or what they mean when they talk about having that hungry feeling that makes you want to be sick. I woke up, I was like, it's happening, it's happening. <laughs> um, um, I wasn't sick, luckily. Um, so I had some crackers. So again, I'd heard about nibbling on crackers can help with the, the nausea and that actually helped. So I had a few crackers and I felt a little bit better, managed to, to get up and get on with my day. Um, but yeah, that, that's one thing I still remember that now, but as I say, that's the only time that's happened. Um, feeling worse in the evenings and after dinner um, and feeling a bit like motion sickness. So again, this is something I'd heard of that morning sickness feels like motion sickness and it does i felt car sick now for about what six seven eight weeks or something it is it's not pleasant but yeah that is what i would probably liken it to if anyone asked me what it feels like it it just it does feel like motion sickness all the time and um i know because i got um a nintendo switch for christmas and we've been playing mario kart and it got to things about week five or six. I was like, I can't play this anymore. I can't even watch it because it's making me feel so ill. So stuff like bright colours and like the, the movement was just making me feel even worse. Um, the other thing I've got here is a metallic type taste. So again, these are it's quite strange because you hear about all these things and it's it's hard to imagine or picture how they actually feel until it happens. And it's like, oh yeah. Now I understand, so metallic type taste in my mouth as well. So that was week six. Week seven, um, I put that the cramping and pains have eased. So I think I mentioned in my week five update about the really quite intense pains and cramps I was getting, like didn't feel right at all. Um, obviously week seven, they started to ease. Um, sickness most of the day but worse in the afternoon and evening again so yeah I'd find that getting into the afternoon time I start to go a little bit downhill and then after eating I felt even worse so morning sickness is not necessarily morning sickness nah no we found that out for sure <laughs> um, I've put here the thought of food makes me feel ill but the only time I don't feel sick is when I'm eating and this is something that has continued on through. I still get it now. It's not quite as bad now, but it did get really bad um, at certain points where just the thought of any food would make me want to heave, basically. But the only time that I didn't feel like I wanted to be sick was when I was eating. So I'd literally just have to force myself to try and eat anything to try and ease the nausea. Um, so that started in week seven. Um, I started with just wanting beige food, um, but then I started craving fruit and salad. So I was a bit worried at first that I'm just gonna eat beige for this entire pregnancy. Like that's not very nutritious, is it? Um, and the thought of fruit and vegetables, again, just no, nah, didn't sit with me at all. Um, but then I did start to like crave fruit and, and salad. I was just eating just salad. <laughs> As weird as that is, very boring. Um, but when I say just salad, like just lettuce leaves, basically, nothing else, just lettuce leaves. I think it was just 
they just feel refreshing they just taste refreshing don't know what it is but yeah so we've got that um i've got the i was breathless no energy and tired pretty standard so week eight um week eight was quite a special week i suppose well yeah it was I, there's no suppose about it it was um so i'll go through my symptoms first and then i'll talk a little bit more about the other stuff so um in terms of symptoms I had a headache for a couple of days. This is the first time I'd really experienced any headaches in this pregnancy. Um, so mainly like waking up with them and then they didn't really want to shift. The sickness got worse. Excellent, yeah. So we went from feeling sick just in the afternoon and evenings to pretty much all day sickness from, well, it, it actually never went away. I was gonna say from the minute I woke up, no, it was, it yeah from the morning all day all evening all through the night it literally never eased at all so that started in week eight but i was so tired <laughs> hips really sore and bad mood swings yeah i've not been the best person to be around but hey <laughs> i do have a good excuse right um yeah so really sore hips that's when i was really starting to feel my, my joints aching a lot um, especially in my hip so th that was the point I had to sort of start giving up a lot of my classes just because it wasn't safe to be honest as much as anything else and I was in pain um, yeah so in terms of my symptoms that's all I've got written down um, but in week eight is when I had my first midwife appointment which I think that just makes everything feel a little bit more real doesn't it um, and then also in week eight we decided to go for an early scan so we got to see our little baby for the first time right here so yeah that was very exciting i wasn't sure to be honest because it was so early whether they'd actually be able to even see anything but yeah baby was there with a strong heartbeat everything was looking good measuring four days ahead as well which kind of makes sense because i ovulated a little bit early um so yeah that yeah sort of makes sense but measuring four days ahead yeah we got to see the heartbeat and everything and it was just really reassuring and, and just special to know that everything's okay and you know there is actually a little baby in there because it's so weird even though i'm feeling all these symptoms like at that point i didn't have any any bump or anything and i was just you know you start to you start to question like is there something going on or just is it all in my head you know so that was like that was really special um yeah so that was week eight moving on to week nine so i put here had a few days where the nausea wasn't so bad in the morning and then it got worse <laughs> Feeling sick all day with no energy, feeling awful, not wanting to eat anything, all food makes me sick. <laughs> so yeah, clearly fed up at this point. See, I think this is, must have been the week where I had a couple of mornings and I didn't feel too bad. I was like, oh, am I coming through this now? Is, is it going to start getting better? Because I've been feeling sick from quite early on, sort of week five. It's like, oh, maybe I'm going to be lucky and it's going to get better from here. It did not. It just got even worse. <laughs> like, really bad, as I say. All day sickness, but like 10 times worse than it had been previously. Um, yeah, as I say, no energy. It felt awful. Um, and at this point, because for the, the few weeks before that, even though I was struggling with food, I'd sort of get a craving for something like, oh, I want to eat that. And then I'd have to eat it like straight away. But at least I wanted something this week and for a couple of weeks like nothing appeals nothing at all and it's just no that was that was difficult to be fair um I've got headaches most days some aches and pains joints sore again feeling like I have a cold sneezing and congested so I don't know if I just picked up a bit of a bug or whether that was a, a symptom. I don't know, but I've got that written down. Moody and crying. So yes, the moodiness continues. It's been a roller coaster of emotions, I'm gonna say. It's yeah, it has been it's not been easy, let's just put it that way. Um, even though it's supposed to be such well supposed to be it is a happy time, of course it is. It's such a special time, such a happy time. 
but yeah the emotions they are they can be tough to deal with and especially i'll say for me as well and i'll probably talk about this more in a separate video but when your body starts to change and things and especially now because i can't i've not been able to tell anybody and then i'm wearing like baggy clothes i'm trying to hide myself and it's just it just doesn't feel great i just feel fat and frumpy even though obviously i'm not <laughs> um but it's getting your mind to to not think of things negatively is quite difficult especially for me but anyway uh moving on then to week 10 i've got still tired lots of headaches still feeling sick but not as bad in the morning so um it did start to ease last week however i will say that again i had a couple of days i think where i felt a little bit better and then even though the mornings haven't been so bad the evening sickness has been not pleasant at all so <laughs> the evening sickness has been a lot worse even though i'm getting a few hours in the morning where i don't feel too bad if that makes sense so swings and roundabouts and all that isn't it really um i will say as well again i have not touched wood i have not physically been sick at all during this pregnancy yet and now we're nearly to week 12 so i'm hoping we've nearly made it through um yeah just to add that in there as well but again i'm going to talk about all this in more detail in another video as well um what have we got? What have we got? Managed to go out for dinner one night for the first time. So I managed to go out with a couple of my friends and have dinner, which was lovely just to do something normal. It's the first time I've managed to do that since the week we found out. So that's quite a few weeks ago now. And yeah, um, I can't say I felt amazing, but I managed to do it. And that was quite a big, I'd say a big step. It was just, it was just nice. It was nice. Um, I put here round ligament pain question mark I'm assuming that's what it is but I don't know either way again pain around my sort of hips and pelvic area and also feeling quite down depressed and fed up so especially the last few days I've been feeling just a bit meh again as, as I mentioned previously I think just you know all, all the changes not being able to tell anybody yet feeling a bit fat and fed up not having any energy feeling sick all the time it does drain you a little bit i'm not gonna lie um and i have been getting quite down about stuff but uh next week next week we've got a few more days to go then we've got our 12 week scan and then we can announce finally and that's going to take a big weight off i think as well especially because in work i've had to give up classes um i've had time off sick people know there's something going on and i'm sure most people have guessed you know what what is going on so i think that's pretty much it for week 10 i think probably the next update i'll do well might possibly be the last one i'll probably do week 11 and week 12 um and then i'll have my 12 week scan done as well then so we've got that on valentine's day which is super cute and then we can finally announce everything i can't wait so i'm going to leave this here for now and i will update again soon hello i am here with my last update for this video so i'm going to cover weeks 11 and 12. now we had our 12 week dating scan earlier this week on the 14th and i'm actually measuring four days ahead which is in line with our early scan that we had now i've kept this video based on the weeks calculated or uh, by my last period if that makes sense so it's a little bit out of sync now but you know what it doesn't really matter does it it doesn't matter at all four days doesn't make that much of a difference to be honest um well it does if i finally come out of this first trimester tomorrow and i feel amazing that four days is going to make a big difference but in the grand scheme of things the symptoms are still pretty much going to be um correct for what i've given to you now yep going back then we'll do week 11 and week 12 to finish off this video so week 11 in my notes i've got getting a little more energy back but still getting breathless 
I don't think this breathlessness thing is gonna go away to be honest I can see this just getting worse the bigger that I get um, but hopefully I'm gonna get a little bit more energy back I do feel it I mean today I'm tired I did feel earlier like I didn't want to do anything but once I'm actually doing things I don't feel too bad so hopefully we're getting through that at least um, I've got horrible taste in mouth this yeah I, I mean I know I mentioned the metallic taste previously and people always tend to refer to this metallic taste I don't know if, if I would describe it as that anymore but whatever it is it's not pleasant and yeah it just makes me feel very sick if I'm honest and that's that's still there now it's not quite as bad today but it's definitely still there so I've got that there for for week 11 Um, still not feeling this sick in the mornings but evenings are still bad and no food is appealing but craving lots of fruit so again this has been quite consistent I'd say for me for quite a number of weeks now but I think yeah week 11 last so I guess last week um seemed to be a lot worse again like literally I couldn't stomach any food there was just nothing that I wanted to eat at all it was really difficult probably the worst it's been if I'm honest which is strange but hey there we go um, and I'm quickly going to wrap up week 12 because my battery light is flashing right now. So week 12, I'd say pretty similar to week 11. Still getting breathless. Um, still not got loads of energy. But as I say, it is now starting to get a bit better as I'm approaching the end of week 12. Um, horrible taste in mouth is still there. So I'm having to like keep drinking to make it go away. And it's also like your saliva gets quite thick when you're pregnant and I don't think that helps either. It's like a bad taste and a horrible consistency in your mouth. So that definitely for week 12. Not feeling, I actually feel pretty good to be honest in the mornings and early afternoons. Evenings are still pretty bad sickness wise but definitely getting better. So I'm hoping by next week we'll be feeling amazing. I can't wait for that. Um... Food wise, I'd say today, so I'm 12 plus 6 today, today's the first day I've actually thought I quite fancy some like proper food, so I've asked for spaghetti bolognese for tea, which I don't know if that's like proper food or not, but I've not been able to eat stuff like that throughout this whole pregnancy so far, so I think we're coming through the other side of things, so I'm super excited. Um, and that is really it for my first trimester symptoms. That is crazy. I can't believe we've actually made it through. Tomorrow we're into trimester number two, so I will keep um, updating my symptoms and I'll do an update on trimester two as well. So if you've enjoyed this, then stay tuned for some more updates and keep following me through this journey and we'll support each other through it. <laughs> All right, I'm probably going to head into an outro or something now. So I'll leave this here before my camera dies. Thank you so much. One last thing I'll try and squeeze in here as well. I mentioned my dating scan. So here's a quick little picture of our little bean, if you're interested. Growing nicely. Everything looks perfect. So there we go. How, how much have they grown since that eight-week scan that I showed you? Um... I mean a few minutes earlier probably <laughs> in this video but yeah that's just amazing so special